down, down. Okay. Down. 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 Oh my god. Down. Okay, good. Down, 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 down. Up, 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 up. Down, 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 down. Up, 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 up. Welcome back one and all to Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time we killed some monsters and saved some factory workers from a terrorist attack. This time we gotta make a beeline for the friggin' mine shaft in order to save a bunch of miners. I still don't know where that fucking cat is. I'm locked into doing this. Ugh. Every minute we spend here, things are getting worse for the miners. Stay calm, Elisa. Yeah, the railway military police are on their way, after all. Let's at least try and get a look at what's going on. But, man, if terrorists really were planning to blow up the mine... It would shake the very foundations of the Empire. Oh, it'd have much worse consequences than that. Far, far worse. It looks like a tough one. Watch out! Fuck you, Drake! What the hell? Terrorists have complete control of the mine. They've taken the miners hostage and any attempt to enter the mine may put their lives in jeopardy. Then that's why you're standing here twiddling your thumbs without even attempting to negotiate with them. They clearly have an objective in mind here. We can't allow them to buy any further time. That's like a pretty heated argument. Terrorists have taken over the mine. And as the first ones on the scene, the Revengeal Army has taken it up to set up themselves a blockade. Or at least, that's what it looks like at first glance. Why? This has suspicion. Suspicion. Suspicious written all over it. Yeah. The Provincial Army is too well prepared. And there's a lighting bug on your jacket. No matter how you look at this, it got to be in on it. You can't be serious. Yeah, Fee would know a thing or two about smoke grenades, wouldn't she?
Yeah. Most likely gonna have to tangle with the provincial army and even probably the RMP. Well, to start with, we need to work out exactly what's going on here. If it's true that the terrorists are working with the noble faction, then it seems likely their aim is to eliminate the evidence of whatever they've been hiding in the first factory. But did they really have to go this far? The Iron Mine is owned by His Majesty the Emperor himself, right? Politicians will go pretty damn far to cover up their secrets. I mean, hell, in our own elections, Clinton destroyed subpoenaed evidence, so I'm not gonna go into that, but the point remains, politicians will go pretty fucking far to destroy, to hide their secrets. That's right. The province of Nortia is tasked with managing it while Reinford mines, refines, and processes the iron. And iron is the single most vital natural resource to this nation's continued survival. If this isn't resolved quickly, it's going to deal a heavy blow to the entire country, including the nobles themselves. So I guess the question is just whether the noble faction and the terrorists realize that or not. I'm sure they do. Sounds to me like they're a pretty divided bunch as it is. Yep. The terrorists seem like they're basically all commoners too. Which is why I don't understand why they'd work with the noble They're only faction. cooperating because they both see the Chancellor as a common enemy. And if that's the case, it seems pretty likely that what they're doing here is related to that somehow. Sounds like someone started the party without me. Angelica? Is she gonna join the party? I kinda hope she is. Angelica? You came too, George? Yo, figured you'd show up eventually. Well, we had to test the sidecar, obviously. This bike is just full of surprises. You made the trip to Ruhr in seven hours. So, speed-wise, we're looking great. Comfort, though, we're gonna have to tweak a few things. I swear, you two never change. You could try losing a few pounds, George. That's... that can't be healthy. Kinda figured Toa wouldn't be able to make it, too. Yeah, Toa's best staying at the council building. Yeah, she's working on gathering a boatload of information, though. She said she'd be in touch if she finds anything out. She really, I really want her to stay safe. I don't want her here, so I'm glad you didn't bring her. Well, <laughs> that's reassuring at least. Um, could someone tell me what's going on? Fighting bugs. You seem to be hot on the trail of something, but I'm not sure it's the same thing we're investigating. Does this have something to do with those family affairs you told me you were worried about? Yeah, it does. I had some nagging suspicions about it. Unfortunately, my hunch turned out to be right on the money. Hold on. Isn't the director of the first factory... My dear Uncle Heidel Rogner, yeah. Seems like it might do us both some good to swap info. How about it? Now let's find a better place to talk. Like a bar? A diner? They're dumping iron onto the black market? Hmm. Yeah. The amount of steel they're producing doesn't quite match up with the amount of iron ore being mined. That's been the case for quite a few years now. Officially, the reason given is that the purity of the ore being mined is lower now than it used to be. But if you look at what's coming out of the mine, there's no evidence of that. Well, that would explain why the figures don't add up. That's some fuzzy math. And because they were feeding the raw iron onto the black market rather than the finished steel... That makes it a lot harder to notice when a little goes missing here and there. Man, Toa put all the pieces together on her own? I'd expect no less from my beloved Toa. Just stay away from her. She's a pure innocent child. She poured over everything. Reinford's yearly sales figures, government reports on the mine's productivity, you name it. You can have Emma. That's how she picked up on the discrepancy. She's really something else. Iron ore being sold off the black market, accounting sheets that don't add up. George, 
How much iron ore is unaccounted for, roughly speaking? Do you know? Assuming for a moment that all the missing iron was refined into steel, how much steel would we be looking at? Oh, geez, there's clipping. Game, you've been so good about this up until now. Hmm. This is just a bit of speculative math on my part. I can understand the ears and tail clipping. That's cosmetic that isn't supposed to be on there. I just think it looks cute. But the hair is never mind. But I'd say somewhere in the neighborhood of 100,000 Torum, which is enough to build 2,000 oxen tanks. Oh, Christ. 2,000? That's practically an army. That is an army. The Saxon iron mine is a pillar of the Empire's economy. The amount of iron they pull out of there is almost ridiculous. Even if you pocket a small amount every year, it's going to add up to a lot of iron real quick. But what are they planning to do with all of it? Civil War! The Noble Faction is planning a civil war! Is the Noble Faction trying to make their own tanks in secret? There's no secret about it! Did you see what the Duke Albarea was doing? They couldn't even if they wanted to. Only the second factory has the knowledge and equipment to make tanks. And not only does the second factory have close ties with the Imperial Army, it also leans toward the reformist faction. You need all kinds of complicated technology to make even a basic tank. It's not as simple as just grabbing some steel, some blueprints, and some grease and getting to work. So what does that leave them? Selling the iron to another country for profit? I don't know how likely that is. Seems like deals that big would be too easy to trace. Okay, so setting aside the ore itself for a moment, now that you know this, and given what's happening in Ruhr right now, what were the two of you planning on doing? Oh. It's pretty simple. My uncle oversees the first factory, and the provincial army is blockading the mine. There's no way my family isn't involved. On the other side, you've got all the miners just trying to do their jobs who got dragged into this whole mess. I'm a Rogner. I might not be a great daughter, but there's no way I'm gonna let this go on without putting up a fight. Angie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're seriously gonna go talk to your old man about this? <laughs> Hell no. Like he'd even listen to a word I said. Same goes for the Provincial Army. I'd just be wasting my breath. How practical are the zippers on your chest? What, what point does that serve? You get the zipper up the middle, that's how you put it on, but... That just seems like it's trying to be sexual for the sense of being sexual. That's why I'm planning on yeah, sorting out this that. mess myself. That just seems like it's there for the point of being sexual, and maybe it is. I don't... I don't know. If that's your, if you like it, fine, but that's just distracting. I used to work part-time in the mine. I know the place like the back of my hand. As long as I can find oh, yeah, my way new. inside, I think I can handle the terrorists well enough. Uh, I figured you'd say something like that. Honestly, does nothing faze you? In that case, I'd like to ask that you take us along. Uh, we can look at this as a test of how to best respond to a sudden crisis. Looking at it from that perspective, I think it fits neatly within the scope of our field study. You? You're too smart for your own good, Specs. Yeah, after hearing all that, I don't want to let them have their way. Agreed. I'm with Angelica here. My family's involved in this too. I feel like I have a duty to do something about it. I feel like your part, your family's a third party in this. It's their company, sure, but I don't think your mother's actually involved. Thanks. Truth be told, I was kind of hoping you'd back me up anyway. Whatever help you can give, I'll take it. <laughs> well, that's that. I believe that's my line, Angelica. The next thing we need to consider is how to slip into the mine without the provincial army taking notice. At the very least, Angie should be able to get the officer in charge to talk with her, but... So, what, we sneak inside while she's distracting them? I don't know, that sounds a little overly simplistic to work. That's an oxymoron. Simplistic means overly simple. So saying overly simplistic is saying overly, overly simple. That's a repetitive statement. That is a oxymoron. 
The wand should be. That's a little. Leave finding our way in to me. That, the wand should be. That's a little too simplistic. If anyone's good at cutting red tape, it's my mother. Maybe she could help us out. She could, but would she? Well, if you think so. All right, I'll leave securing an alternate route to you then. For now, I'm gonna see if I can find out anything else about my family's or the provincial army's involvement here. George, give Toa a call and see if you can find out what the Imperial government is doing about all this. Gotcha. I'll see if I can turn up any machinery that might be useful too. <laughs> this is starting to feel like last year's field studies all over again. Yeah. This is getting heavy. We should get going. Yeah. I still don't know where that friggin' cat is. I guess I'm gonna just go on a limb here and say fucking terrorists are a bit more important than a cat. Lisa, thank God, Godness, goodness, you're all right. I was so worried. I had let her. You left the city. Oh, you're talking about the mine, right? Actually, also, we talked to Mother about that. Is she in her office? Chairman Arena, just returned a moment ago. Would you like me to set up an appointment? Yes. I'll bust the door down, if she doesn't. Okay. Floor 23. Why do I get the feeling Sharon is going to be right there welcoming us? Count on it. Because Sharon is creepy like that. Who who even is Shannon Kruger? Let's do it. Because I don't know where the fucking cat is. And I'm not gonna waste time looking for it. The rising of the sun. I see how it is. You're taking Reinford's side again, huh? <laughs> as long as I wear this uniform, I'm simply a humble maid of the Reinford household. You, the chairman, and Master Gwyn are all deeply important to me. Thanks, I think. Show us in then. Of course. Please follow me. She's got an agenda. I don't think it lines up with Reinford. Especially given she has a history with Sarah Valstein. The legendary bracer, Purple Lightning. As you wish. Mother, we need to see you. Excuse us. Oh. 
I apologize for canceling our dinner plans last night. But it's looking unlikely I'll be able to join you tonight, either. No, that's fine. We understand. Especially considering the fucking terrorist attack happening in not only your mind, but your factory as well. It's hardly surprising, given the current circumstances. I'm not sure what's keeping you so busy, considering you haven't even managed to fulfill one of your most basic duties. <clears throat> My lady, the miners who work at Saxon are employees of this company. With the Provincial Army barricading the mine and refusing to budge, those miners are at the mercy of the terrorists. I assume you've issued a formal objection to Marquis Rogner? Not on behalf of the company, no. It sounds like Director Heidel Rogner of the First Factory has requested something be done as a formality, but nothing more. First Factory has been dumping huge amounts of ore onto the black market for years now. Don't even try and tell me you haven't noticed it. Of course I've noticed. Being unable to bring the First Factory in line allowed that to happen, and that's my failure, I admit. But think, if we assume the terrorists aren't acting alone here, what good would it do to issue an objection to Marquis Rogner? Especially considering he's one of the people beating it. She's right. Well... There are many possible outcomes to this crisis, and we must be prepared for all of them. For example, we need to consider the possibility that the terrorists may set off an explosive in the mine, and how to respond to that. This is a global company. Measures will need to be put in place to protect stock prices, taking Crossbell into account, too. <clears throat> She's not wrong. She's got a point. Anything that affects the Reinford Company is gonna indirectly affect a lot of people's lives. Oh, it'll be very direct. Correct. The Reinford Group is its own entity with its own role to fill. And I have mine as chairman. The Provincial Army and the RMP are acting in accordance with their purpose. And one might even say the same of the terrorists. Action with a purpose. That's what keeps the world in motion. So tell me, what's your purpose? Uh, I... um... Well... If you get what I'm saying, I suggest you leave. I expect the explosion at the military factory is the extent of the damage the terrorists will cause here. I'll give you several additional tasks. I suggest you work on those for the remainder of the day. And considering the situation here, I think it'd be best if you leave Ruhr tomorrow morning. You have my permission as a sitting director on the Academy's board. But... Yeah, I don't think so. Damn, Alisa. I'm not going to keep making the same mistakes anymore. Oh? All my life, I've turned a blind eye to what was going on right in front of me. I did it when you drove Grandfather out and took his position as chairman. And I did it when Father died and you let work become your life. All along, you've been working to build the company bigger and bigger, and all along, I just looked the other way. But in our field studies at Thor's, I've seen the imbalances and injustices of the world crop up over and over again. But even with that, I... And all of us, really, have to face that head-on. And that's exactly what we've been doing. You asked what our purpose is. After six months at the Academy, that's my answer. <clears throat> well said. Agreed. That's why this time, I don't plan on backing down. You need to hear the truth, and I need to be the one to tell you. As your daughter, as your family, and above all, as someone who's watched the Reinford Company grow ever since I was a little girl. Mother, you're running this company the wrong way. My lady. <laughs> Can I assume you, in your infinite wisdom, are planning to tell me the correct way to run my company? Naturally. But I still need more experience before I can do that. I promise you, though, 
that by the time I graduate from the Academy, I'll show you how this company should be run. As someone who just might succeed you as the chairman someday, I should be able to do at least that much. Our little Elisa is growing up. <gasps> it's one thing to make a promise. It's quite another to live up to it. Still, at least you're starting to see the bigger picture. Mother. Give it to her, Sharon. Certainly. Here, my lady. What's this? A key card? Some kind of key card? Correct. It opens the door to a passage that connects Ruhr City to the Iron Mine. The locked door. Wait! There's really a secret passage? Secret tunnel! Under Ruhr! The former chairman built it for use in case of an emergency. You'll find the entrance in the underground part of a maintenance room on the upper level of the city. Mm. I've checked if we it out. use that passage... We should be able to completely avoid having to deal with the Provincial Army. Goddamn I'm not going horse. to say thanks. Right now, I just believe this is the best way to press forward. And I'm going to tell you why through actions, not words. Excuse us, Madam Chairman. We've learned a lot during our field studies, and we'll put it all to use to come out on top. You don't need to worry about us. <laughs> They've grown a lot in the last six months. It's been a pleasure to watch them. Surely it wouldn't hurt to acknowledge that Lady Elisa has grown too. She's still got a ways to go. If she wants to take the mantle of the Rhineford Company from me, she'll have to show me she's got what it takes. Anyway, it seems all our principal players have assembled. Can I ask you to do one more thing for me? Certainly. Who are you? Elisa's S-Craft Rosetta Arrow was strengthened to become Judgment Arrow. thought there'd be an underground passage going all the way from Ruhr to the mine. Gwen really does think of everything. Oh, you know Elisa's grandfather? I've heard you two got along famously back when he was still living in Ruhr. He taught me all kinds of great stuff. How to pick up girls, the best spots in the entertainment district, um... Yeah, that sounds about you right. You know, the really important things in life. It's not that I can't believe it, it's that I can. Too easily. <laughs> I can only hope to sit and learn at the feet of the master one day. <laughs> Still, it's probably thanks to him that Angie didn't go any further off the rails than she did. <laughs> Can't deny that. That's nothing to laugh about. I wonder if we'll seem as colorful to the first years when we're second years. So, you think this is gonna work? Alright, that should do it. What is this thing? An orbital wave antenna? It's currently in development at the Institute of Technology, but I managed to convince them to let me borrow it. It emits directional orbital waves to widen the area where you can transmit and receive signals. That means you'll be able to use your Arcus unit's communication functionality even down here in the mine. That sounds pretty handy. You can do that? 
Yep. Toa is busy gathering information on what's going on across the Empire right now. And I'll be able to pass that info along to you while overseeing this operation. But if things get too dangerous, I'll give you the order to pull out, so make sure you keep the line open. Got it. It'll be nice to have some support. Well, if George is just a call away, we've got nothing to worry about. Okay, I think it's about time we got going. And thanks again, everyone, for coming along. I've got my Arcus on me, so I should be able to hold my own in battle. Always room for one more with us. Your knowledge of the mind will really be invaluable. I'm looking forward to seeing you clean up with those Taito skills of yours. Angelica, join the party. Okay, uh... Crow, you're taking a backseat for Angie. Level 61, okay. I should end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I go straight into the mine and kick some terrorist ass. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.